Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today we're going to go over how I uh, populated a room full of humanoid characters, modeled them, rigged them and animated them within a matter of minutes. Without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so first thing you need to do is go to Miximo.com. Uh, you can sign in with your Adobe account, it's free, which is great. Uh, you can first choose yourself a character. Uh, you can either choose from their library or you can go to um, what's it called? Fuse that Adobe has and create your own character, or you can create your own character in Cinema 40. Uh, for these purposes, I'll just use this library. So I'm going to choose Douglas. Right, and the next step would be to choose an animation. So I have a, a bunch of people uh, doing different actions in the office, like walking, talking, typing, and you name it. So Douglas could be talking, and we choose talking. And you get a whole list of people. And you can go into your tail queen, and there we have Douglas talking. And you can uh, trim with these sliders how long you want him to talk for, how wide you want his arm space to be, uh, hand height, attitude, and each uh, uh, different animation has a different type of setting. So if we had to do something like running or walking, let's try running. And click on the camera so it sticks with him. You can keep him running in place if you want to animate his run by itself, or you can turn that off and make him run. Uh, from point A to point B. You can also use a mirror tool which flips the rig around and once again you can speed up your character with overdrive or slow him down. Now I tend to stick, keep that on what it already is uh, because you can actually edit these settings in Cinema 40. Uh, so the next step would be to just download your character. Um, for me, I'm going to put it at 24, so that's close to 25 frames a second, and export as a FBX and with the skin, and then just press download. Right, so now I'm in my Cinema 40 file that I've set up, uh, just to show what's going on. Camera goes up, goes over the top, and then just loops again. So to populate this room, I'm just going to start adding in the characters that I've already uh, downloaded from Mixima. You can either go to File and uh, open up the FBX from here or you can go to here and go file merge objects so I'm going to go to FBX and I'll choose head gesture and then just go OK and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to group this all and call it head gesture and then I'm going to click on uh, Mixmo hips and I'm going to go to add motion clip and call that head gesture. Now when I go into my animation view and click on motion mode, I would have now recorded into the library a head gesture. And the nice thing you can do with this now is if you click on, let's actually just name this also. Um, it will be called head gesture. I definitely recommend labeling these because once you add more characters in here, uh, it gets really confusing. So you'll click on head gesture. Actually, no, sorry. You click on the layer and you can do a whole bunch of things. You can loop the character as many times as you want. If it's a longer scene, uh, the talking will just loop and loop. So first thing, to do is my character is too big so I want him chatting to somebody in the scene over here so I can click back to my um, my standard viewer I can go to coordinates for an L object and I can scale that down to something like 0.5 
and then I can move my character and rotate him to wherever I want. Maybe he's talking to someone over here. And then as I play, he's just going to be standing there talking away. Now, as you noticed, he only talks a little bit in the end and then doesn't carry on. So as I mentioned before, all I need to do is click on that and go to loops. You know, I'm just going to whack it right up to 100. You can see now if you look on the timeline here, he's looping for a nice long time. So that now Douglas will be talking and talking over and over as many times as you want. Uh, let me just turn off my garage shading lines and turn them off so you can see the character over there. Now for my purposes, I'm going to be putting a cell shaded look on it. So I'm not really going to need the uh, textures. So I'm just going to delete my textures straight out of here. And I'll, I'll send you a link to a tutorial uh, where EJ for my design shows you how to texturize a room. Right, so we put in our next character then. Uh, we're going to file, merge objects, and we go sitting gun motion. Okay. And we can uh, Alt G on the keyboard and we call this sitting gun. Very interesting name, but anyway. And once again, we can go to the bone rig, click on it and go to animate, add motion clip and paste in there sitting gun. Uh, shift three on the keyboard will get bring your timeline up again. And we can click on sitting gun again and paste in sitting gun name. And once again, we can scale sitting gun to, I'm guessing about 0.5. Let's see. Oh wait, sorry, ignore that. I'm supposed to be doing that on the grouped null 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And this character could be, you know, sitting over here and rotate that person around. And well, she's definitely too big. So we will just keep scaling her down maybe 0.2, that might be too small, but we'll just see. Okay, about 3.5 perhaps. Okay. Hmm, maybe smaller. I'll just keep shrinking her until she fits to the table. Here we go. And she's pretty much just going to be having conversation at a desk. So once again, we'll press shift three on the keyboard and I'm going to click on her and just loop a hundred times. Uh, you can loop as many times as you want. I just like to keep the number nice and high so I don't have to think about it again. And we can just move her in a little bit. And uh, once again, just take off the texture that's on her. I'm just going to clear the textures out of here. There we go. She's busy there and I can go again and go file merge and let's get sitting talking. Okay. And we'll go select it all. I'll G on the keyboard and call that sitting talking. inside there, click on uh, the bone again, go to animate, add motion clip, paste in sitting talking, uh, shift three on the keyboard, click on that, and we can rename that sitting talking. And where do we wanna have this guy to sit? So let's just put him at 0.5 again. 
Now, the weird thing is some of these uh, character rigs that you pull into Mixamo all have differing sizes. You'd assume that they're all the same size, but weird enough, they, they're not. Let's put that at uh, 0.3. Cool, and this guy, I'm gonna rotate around until he's comfortably on that chair. If you're wondering how I'm rotating, around, rotating on my keyboard, I'm just using the one, two, and three. It's zoom, rotate, Go. Now we have a character sitting down there, his foot to the floor. Let's just put it slightly higher. And there we go. There he is talking. And we can go to merge again, sitting thumbs up. Okay. And we can group this. And this one's a uh, sitting thumbs. Once again, press on the rig, go to animate, add motion clip, setting thumbs, shift uh, F3 on the keyboard to open up your timeline and find setting thumbs, name it, click on the timeline, put your loops up, cool, and uh, let's put Let's put him down in size again to about 0.3. And we can have him chatting to the guy over here or on the keyboard to rotate him around. So placing about there. Still looks a bit big. So we can put him to about two, I think. Actually, maybe 2.5, 2.5, put him on the chair. Let's just check to make sure that he looks okay on the chair. Wow, he's really got his leg right through the chair, but anyway, let's just go for another character. Okay, so now we have sitting typing, Alt-G. Uh, we'll just call this typing and go and click on the rig, go to animate, add clip, sit typing and press shift 3 on the keyboard and then that typing, press on the timeline, put my loops to 100. And I think we can have her sitting right at the very front. So let's just put it at 0.5, see where that comes. Mm, 0.35. 0.35. 0.35. Okay. And bring it to there. Her front here, let's just rotate her around so she can be sitting over there. Point three five. Mm. You know what? She's probably a little bit smaller than that. Strange. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then let's just take off the uh, character's texture again. Hmm. No. I guess we could just make it even smaller. Two point five. There we go. So you get the point. Uh, 
that is how you populate a ribbon full of characters. So to show it with the camera going on, actually let's just keep this on 200. There we go, a room full of characters. If you guys have any other questions, please uh, feel free to shout out in the comments and I'll be happy to explain. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.